Jordan here with the Mouse Fives, and we're back at Universal Studios Hollywood for a theme park update. And on that note, we cue the music. We officially have three weeks left in summer as the park starts transitioning into the fall season. What? You're kidding me. So let's get in the park and show you the insane crowds, all the construction around the park, and a giant Halloween Horror Night reveal. This is gonna be fun. Let's go! Welcome back to another Mouse Vibes video. We're gonna start our update on the upper lot in the Parisian Square area of the park. It's no surprise this is the house we're most excited for. Duh. We've been following this project super closely since the beginning and have literally watched this house transform in front of our eyes. But today, for the first time, we have a reveal of the facade for this brand new house. This is amazing. The walls are finally down over here in the Parisian courtyard for Monstros, the Latin American folktale that's coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year. And the facade is incredible. This is supposed to be a two story mausoleum. Shout out to Nico. You know if you know. And uh, I saw this one guy who goes, I think that's a mausoleum. Let's go, Nico. But this looks incredible. I cannot wait to experience all of Halloween Horror Nights. This is the first wall that is officially down here at Universal Studios Hollywood. The level of detail put into this facade is insane. You can see photos and belongings of people who have passed. And we're still a month away from the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights, so we should see some more detailing coming to this facade. But how awesome is that monster sign? Awesome! <laughs> also, Universal Studios posted these signs all around the park, letting guests know that they're currently dressing the park for Halloween Horror Nights. So during their visit, they might see graphic props and sets from horror films. Can you look at this place? It's like Christmas. Monstros is an original house that you can only find at Universal Studios Hollywood. The house facade is called the Cemetery of the Lost. There will also be a grave digger out front that will be talking and greeting guests as they enter inside the mausoleum. You might be a king or a little street sweeper, but sooner or later you dance with the reaper. <laughs> The inside of this mausoleum will be split up into three sections to represent the three characters of this house. Honestly, I have a feeling this is gonna be the scariest house this year, and it goes right into a scare zone that was also recently just announced, El Terror de las Momias. We're gonna have to keep a close eye on this area of the park because there's zero decorations in this area so far, and we're less than one month away from the opening night of this event. But breaking news, as I'm editing this video, Universal Studios Hollywood announced the theme for the Terror Tram this year, The Exterminators. Trust me, I can't wait for you to see this. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. I'll see you on the other side. Looks like we have another character reintroducing. This guy wasn't in any of the announcement videos so far. All right, pause here. Again, we have the tagline for Halloween Horror Nights, never go alone. And just like our other victims, this person is alone. L for love. Good time. Are you tired of humans? Are you sick of being stepped on, squashed, swatted, and sprayed? Is this guy for real? We outnumber humans a billion to one. Humans don't stand a chance. This handsome guy right here is Larry Larva. He was briefly mentioned at the Halloween Horror Night panel at Midsummer Scream this year. <laughs> Just getting started. It'll be interesting to see if Larry Larva is actually your tram tour driver, or he's a main character along the route. But tell me this guy isn't giving off serious Beetlejuice energy. What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? Don't throw up. You'll be dropping like flies. Terror Tram, the exterminators. If you're gonna spew, spew into this. I'm honestly super excited for something new to come to the Terror Tram this year. Last year, Ashley and I went to Halloween Horror Nights Orlando and did the Bugs Eaten Alive house. Listen, Ashley and I both hate bugs and when we went through this house last year, we were both terrified. It was the house we were looking forward to the least and after going through it and seeing all the physical props and set decorations, it was actually really fun. It was not fun. It scared the crap out of me. I couldn't see. I was breathing in fumes. I got every single scare. The guy was like, Gah! and the little wall thingies. That was effed up, five out of five vibes. I almost pissed myself again. I think it's cool they're expanding on the old Exterminator scare zone back from 2015. It'll be interesting to see what they can do with all the space on the Terror Tram this year. But comment down below, are you gonna ride Terror Tram Exterminators this year? Yeah. And monkeys might fly out of my butt. The announcements didn't stop there because Universal Hollywood actually announced their last two houses for Halloween Horror Nights this year. I'm ready! 
in Holidays in Hell and Evil Dead Rise. The Evil Dead Rise house will be in the upper lot inside Hudson Gate, the former home to the Walking Dead attraction. This house was heavily rumored for last year's Halloween Horror Night, and it was a huge surprise we didn't end up getting this. Instead, we got the Universal Horror Hotel, which was super scary, but I can't wait to experience what the original idea was for this house. <laughs> Now let's show you where all eight houses will be located at this year's Halloween Horror Nights. We just went over Monstro's Monsters of Latin America and Evil Dead Rise. Both of those will be on the upper lot in Hudson Gate and the Parisian Courtyard. And the other two houses on the upper lot this year will both be in the Curious George parking lot area in Chucky Ultimate Kill Count and the Universal Monsters Unmasked. Cool. So those are the four houses that you can find on the upper lot for this year's Halloween Horror Nights. The other four houses will all be located on the lower lot this year. Let's start off with the headliner for this year's event in Stranger Things 4. <laughs> This house will be located inside Soundstage 15. And generally, this is the house that usually has the highest budget for the year. Next, let's go over to Holidays in Hell. This will be located right behind the Stranger Things house along the Studio Tram Tour. Last year, this was the home of killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> the third house on the lower lot is The Last of Us. This is located behind the show building for the Revenge of the Mummy ride. And recently, they've added more detail to the facade, and it's starting to take shape and resemble the quarantine zone in Pittsburgh from the game. We have learned well. And the final house on the lower lot will be for The Exorcist Believer. This is the first time I've seen four houses on the lower lot for Halloween Horror Nights. Initially, I thought it might go inside Soundstage 24, but I haven't seen much action coming out of that building recently. So I'll tell you where I think it's gonna be now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh no. So that's gonna be all eight houses for this year's Halloween Horror Nights. But I wanna hear from you guys. Which house are you most excited to go in this year? Shifting up gears, let's talk about food and beverage at Halloween Horror Nights, where there'll be a plethora of horror-themed options this year. Well, <laughs> giddy up! Starting on the lower lot, where Stranger Things fans can visit Surfer Boy Pizza for a variety of pizza flavors. It's pizza time! <laughs> My guess this is gonna go in between the Studio Cafe and the Panda Express on the lower lot. The last two years, this place has been serving a barbecue with Leatherface's barbecue and Killer Barbecue from Outer Space. And I kind of like the idea of them switching it up this year and going full Stranger Things on the lower lot. Bringing Surfer Boy Pizza will be a huge draw. And I hope they don't just serve pizza there, but we can actually get pizza fries. That would be a Halloween Horror Night. Miracle! I know what I'm talking about. And once again, Studio Scoop will transform into Scoops Ahoy, where you can get all the best ice cream. Two scoops, sir? Two. Make it three. I'm not driving. And new this year is an 80s-themed stellar bar with mixed cocktails. My guess this is going above the Jurassic World ride. That patio last year had the weekend after our nightmare bar, and that thing was seriously packed every night. Hey! This bar area is gonna be super popular. I mean, who doesn't love an 80s theme bar? The best place to be is here. The show goes on! Yeah! I still know how to party. The Dios de los Muertos celebration is coming back to the Universal Plaza. Serving up an array of Latin folklore themed cocktails, Little Cocina taco stand, and a margarita bar. Unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to tell that a Halloween celebration is coming up soon because this entire plaza is still filled with Fast and the Furious cars in promotion for the movie Fast 10. Also new this year, the Hollywood and Dine will transform into a Chucky themed barbecue restaurant, serving up brisket, chicken sandwiches, pulled pork and mac and cheese. Rip. Pork. I don't even know what this thing was. Hopefully it's an animal. It may not be. And right across the way in the Carl Lemley patio will be the Peacock Halloween Horror Night Bar with themed cocktails from The Purge, Chucky, and photo op opportunities with scare actors. This isn't surprising at all. The Peacock streaming service has been promoted in the park all year long. And our friend Kevin Heimbach from Orlando recently broke this story with HH in Orlando. What I think is happening here, it's gonna be a bar, but it's gonna be the Peacock themed bar. It says, new this year, Peacock's Halloween Halloween Horror Bar will feature themed libation within an ominous nightclub vibe, photo opportunities, and more. You're gonna be a star. We have to talk about the heavy construction going on on the upper lot. I've never seen the use of cranes, bulldozers, and tractors going on during normal park visits. And you honestly can't hide it. There's no place to escape all this construction on the upper lot. And while I don't think the construction for this particular project will end anytime soon, I am looking over at New York Street to wrap up just before Halloween Horror Nights. This area is a hub for the event, and it's typically where the opening ceremony happens. They also usually have fire cannons 
vitamins in this area, so this section definitely needs to be wrapped up before opening night. And while I haven't officially gotten word on when this project will end, I do know of a neighborhood expert who should have the answer. It's good to see you. Good seeing you too. I have a question for you. I bet you do. When are you going to move back to New York? I don't like you over here. When are you going to come back? Look, the rents in New York adjacent, they're just cheaper, you know? <laughs> Uh, as soon as I get my rent control uh -huh. back, I'm moving back there. We need you over there, Gabby. I know. You feel uh, out of place. I need it so many places. <laughs> There's only so much one woman can do, you know what I mean? You're right. I appreciate yeah. you, though. It's you're good gonna, seeing you. You're going to have to get on without me. Are you going to be okay? No, I'm not going to be not okay. Be okay? I'm not going back to that borough without you. Why don't... <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it some Halloween Horror Night merchandise has dropped. I'm gonna go into the Universal Studio store, get some sweet merch. I have to show up with a Stranger Things shirt for day one. I don't know if we're early or the shipment is late, but there's not a lot of Halloween Horror Night merchandise just yet. There's good stuff, man. All right, Eureka, here we go. We found the Vecna shirt. How cool is this? This huge print of his face. This is amazing. Hopefully this is a little Easter egg of what we should expect. It looks like the scene behind him is from the Upside Down in Vecna's area, so hopefully that is something to come. Maybe Eddie playing guitar in the background. It's his tone, right? Honestly, the quality of this t-shirt is super nice. It's real buttery and soft, but I think they're gonna come out with more Halloween Horror Night shirts closer to the date. This there's only one for Stranger Things, and I'm still holding up for a Hellfire Club shirt that should be coming. <laughs> yes. Really? Everyone gets a t-shirt. We make them ourselves. You're being sarcastic. Wait, this is a crazy detail. There's actually texture on it for his face. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's actually texture for his skin and his... Wow, that's creepy. We're gonna have to wash this thing on delicate. Vecna Stranger Things shirt is secured. I'm gonna be looking fly in the opening day of Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. If you guys aren't subscribed already, you might want to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna do all the Halloween Horror Night events this year. We're going to Orlando for the opening night and we'll be back here in Hollywood for the opening night. All right, and that's gonna wrap up our update here at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us grow, and if not, thanks for stopping by.